Okay, today we have the privilege to interview the founder and CEO of Metaverse, Eric Gu. He talked about the status right now for the blockchain industry and cryptocurrency. So let's roll the interview. <laughs> My name is Eric, Eric Gu. So I'm the founder of Metaverse, and I have also have a company called Viewfay, which is a fintech company that uh, works around uh, blockchain and uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Um, well, intrinsic value. I mean, intrinsic value of crypto cryptocurrency is really, really the consensus of of that particular cryptocurrency, right? So if uh, the the currency itself has no consensus. I mean, when I say consensus, it's not consensus of all the computers, uh, but consensus of people who are holding this uh, particular cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin. At Bitcoin, we have consensus that we think it's the gold, uh, digital gold of of this era. So, Bitcoin, we believe, uh, has intrinsic value, but some altcoin. They don't. They don't have this uh, consensus between people that this uh, particular currencies has value, had have value, right? So, so the the, the, the value of the price of these currencies turn to fall uh, quickly, like to non-existence, right? So, but Bitcoin, uh, when when the price drop, there are always people buying because there are consensus that there people believe that the, uh, this. Uh, Bitcoin, this currency has value, so it's different. Yes, I think all the assets will will become liquid on blockchain. Uh, for example, gold. Uh, gold. Now we have a liquidity problem. Liquidity problem with gold. Um, many uh, many people say, "Oh, gold is still a currency." No, gold is not a currency anymore. Gold become a reserve, so it can be the backing of currency. It's not a currency itself anymore, because the gold is not kind of not infinitely divisible. So let's say if you go to use a gold coin to buy buy a, a loaf of bread, uh, I simply don't have anything to 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 change to you, because because it costs you like less than a grand uh, gold to buy a, lo a loaf of bread, right? How how do I gonna cut cut the, the gold coin? It's pretty hard, right? So you you, you say oh. Uh, uh, probably one gold coin equivalent to 12, uh, I think it's 12, 1200 uh, US dollar, right? So you use US dollar bill to represent that uh, particular gold. Now, um, if, if the gold can become, become gold coin, I mean digital gold coin on blockchain, right? It's not the physical coin anymore, it's digital gold. So you can divide this particular particular digital gold coin into uh, eight decimal behind, right? So you can purchase with uh, 0 0.0001 uh, gold coin, a, lo a loaf of bread. That, that makes better sense. So it, the blockchain technology all of a sudden just make uh, illiquid uh, gold become liquid on blockchain. And same can be said to real estate and many, let's say, intellectual property. Um, of course, it's much harder than gold, but it will happen one of those days. Futures trading, huh? Uh, well, we're going that way, because um, nowadays, um, uh, some exchanges offer futures trading. Let's say um, uh, Bitcoin future, right? Uh, I, I guess that's what you mean. Um, I think a few days, a, a few weeks ago, uh, a concept called STO become all of a sudden become prominent, become everywhere. People talk about STO. I remember a year ago, uh, when we talk about security token, people say, oh, whoa, 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 that's security token. I don't want to touch it. 
Uh, our token is really utility token, right? But think about this. Uh, the the previ previous question you asked me is the value of, uh, of, of cryptos, right? So what's backing this crypto? Uh, my answer was consensus, but think about this. We are in this society, we already have consensus. Let's say we agree, we all agree gold has value, right? Why don't we use the existing consensus to say backing, to, to go back current, uh, to, to go back this asset, let's say cryptocurrency. So a gold-backed cryptocurrency, or say a, a, a property-backed uh, cryptocurrency will make, make much more better sense, right? So instead of say, oh, uh, all of a sudden, uh, 18 years old kid, no, I don't mean Vitalik, some, some uh, eight, 18 year old kid uh, issued a crypto, cryptocurrency and was a lot of money, why? Right, so it makes better sense that you have a gold-backed uh, uh, cryptocurrency. So this is called STO, uh, security token. I mean, security token can be uh, a major uh, phenomenon in the very near future. And then the next question is, if we trading security token, will we have derivatives of this security token? The answer is obvious. Yes, of course. Why not? Right? Because we we have the asset backing. Then people wants to hedge the risk of uh, the the asset de devaluation or say the asset price rise. So you need to hedge against it. So futures trading or maybe options trading, warrants trading, all the derivatives it will be there. And uh, according to the current uh, financial market. The, the derivative trading volume is actu actually much larger than the spot market. So yes, we're going that way uh, in the crypto market, uh, futures trading and all the derivatives. Well, the answer is yes, but IPFS could be a, a wrong example. I would say um, not a good example, because I don't believe that uh, uh, storage, uh, if everybody know what IPFS is, is a file system, a file system that uh, decentralized, just uh, decentralized the storage, right? The question, the big question is, do we really need a decentralized storage? Um, I really in doubt. I, I think I, um, my CTO Chen Hao is in agreement with me. So we don't need we don't really need a decentralized fire storage system. We probably need backups or say disaster recovery. Um, the blockchain itself is decentralized uh, enough. So the files, uh, the files of, uh, of many of the data, big, we are entering a big data uh, era, but the data itself can be central stored, but we need to hash it. Uh, onto blockchain. So a user algorithm to hash it into the blockchain to prove the existence of this data and the integrity of this data. Uh, but data itself we don't need to be, it, it doesn't need to be uh, distributed or say decentralized. It can be central stored. Um, but the question itself actually is uh, do I see the uh, decentralized or distributed system going, going, uh, going to develop into a big uh, phenomenon? That's yes, of course. I mean, I mean the operating system, or say the uh, uh, in EOS term, uh, CPUs and RAMs can be decentralized. Yes, sure, no problem. But not the storage, uh, the file storage. I don't see that uh, as a big demand. But uh, the the rest of the pro protocol, yes. Uh, decentralized means uh, uh, it's robust and it's transparent. It's very important. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Blockchain standard. Um, well, I mean, um, I don't think um, I don't I don't think Ether is the the best project ever. But in terms of uh, standards, Ether did a great job. If you just look at the ERC. ERC uh, standards, you have ERC20, you have ERC721, you, you have so many ERCs. There are so many good standards. Of course, there are some bad, bad ones, but <laughs> the good ones is, uh, is, uh, is important enough. So uh, more and more standards 
uh, uh, blockchain standards are coming out. And there are some other teams also working on this. I think EOS is, a, is another big uh, contributor. And uh, if you look at Bitcoin, BIP, uh, Bitcoin Improvement Proposal, also very, very uh, important. Uh, also our project, Metaverse, we have a Metaverse Improvement Proposal. We have, we are establishing our uh, own standard as well. I mean, a um, lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of smart people are working on this and and I think um, uh, the standards are coming. Uh, we are entering a, a time that uh, blockchain will become pretty easy to use very soon. Uh, it's actually very fast, I have to say. The crypto space evolves uh, at a speed of uh, light. No, not, not light, but uh, close. Um, and, uh, I see that uh, people rush to one big topic uh, altogether. All of a sudden, so, oh, everybody says uh, STO. Uh, I remember last year was everybody says uh, ICO, right? Now everybody say STO, Security Token Offering. And uh, I hope next year people will come to say, oh, we're gonna do digital identity. Uh, it's, uh, I, I mean, um, it changes every year, and maybe every quarter. Um, there are major achievements, um, I think every quarter. I see a lot of things. So this is the, uh, uh, what's amazing of this industry, that uh, uh, I've been in this industry for almost five years. Yeah, it's more than five years. Uh, but still, till today, every month, I find, I find something new to learn. Uh, that's what intrigues me. Um, there are so many things that I know, and there are so many things that uh, can be elaborated into uh, uh, or cooperate with other other technologies like uh, intellectual, in, like uh, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, like big data. Um, there are, so I mean, in the end, blockchain will become something, become something really, really big. I didn't ha I didn't see I didn't see blockchain as this big. I mean three years ago. I thought it's just uh, another technology that uh, uh, gave, uh, gave a ledger, gave, gave a distributed ledger. But now, now every day I find something new. Yeah. Thank you everyone. Thank you for the question and uh, look forward to talk to you more about this uh, later on. Thanks. Way to be free.